four Saturdays every spring, the WKU Swim and Dive team provides swimming lessons to the community. We think it's important for everyone to learn how to swim because that's a life survival skill to us. Despite the university's decision to suspend the team for five years, the swimmers are still teaching kids one last time. To think that you know the community is going to be lacking something like this in the next few years is very sad. The program has plenty of loyal supporters. I mean, it's great that we still have support and that people still want to come do lessons. And we have people who, you know, are driving in from hour and a half away just to do a half an hour lesson with us, which is awesome. And many parents are disappointed that the program is ending. I've gotten messages on Facebook from the parents of the people I teach, and you know, they're like, you know, we are just so devastated that this program is no longer going to continue, and it's just, yeah, it's just very, it's just very disheartening. The swimming lessons have been held by the team almost as long as the team itself has existed. You know, this is something that's been going on for 30, 40 years, and the kids love it. I mean, they learn how to swim, their friends learn how to swim. The program isn't just social, it's also generational. We have people who learn how to swim, and now their kids are learning how to swim, and now their grandkids are learning how to swim, all within our program, which is really awesome to see. And participants often request to keep the same instructor each year. I mean, I have like three or four kids that I have had since my freshman year, and I've grown a very close bond with these kids, you know. I, I taught these kids how to swim from scratch, you know. It's like, it's, it's a personal, it takes a personal place in my heart, you know. There are about 350 kids in the program, and it's unknown if the lessons will continue. And hopefully the rec department will take it over and do some type of lessons too, so the community has a way to learn how to swim. While Taylor says she feels she's done her job, she wishes it was ending differently. I think I've taught them well enough now that they can, you know, hold their own, but it's like, I would like to see them progress farther. You know, I want to be able to come back and look at them and be like, wow, this is something, you know, I helped in the community. You know? The program's future may be uncertain, but it has allowed the WKU swim and dive team to end on a light note. Reporting for The Extra Point, I'm Dakota Sherrick.